What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Freshman, back with another tutorial in the Mixing and Context series. So pretty much the first video, I kind of just went over leveling. Now I'm just going to go over panning. And if you haven't watched the first video, go to that video. Link will be in the description. Get your leveling right, and then you go on to the panning. So I'm just going to let you guys hear this beat. I'm going to reset all the panning. So there we go that's the track right there but quick thing to know before you start panning everything some things are already panned especially stereo sounds stereo sounds is most likely to be your instruments so if you look at the guitar so pretty much this guitar stereo image wise is playing both left and right so when it comes to panning your instruments, you want to keep that in mind. Stereo imaging and panning goes hand to hand. The wider the stereo image, the wider the sound sounds. And when you bring it close, like close to mono, like a narrow image, then more center it sounds. So I could just show you this real quick. See how it sounds more center now? And you can look at the lines and it shows you it's in the center now. But if you bring it all the way to the left, which is widening your um, instrument, you can see it's playing through both in the left and right ear. So for the most part, unless you have like two of the same layer melodies, pan one to the left, pan one to the right, and also bring it more narrow. Because if you have two wide stereo image sounds and it's the same melody, is just going to get cluttered, you know, frequency wise. So let's just play these two. These are the same melodies. Like, even though this second guitar sounds all crazy because I threw on some flingus and gross beat, it's still the same notes. And you can see it right here. So if I want to, like, declutter this whole track I would um put this in mono put this in mono and then find a sweet spot I like it at 18% let me see how I like this second guitar all right so usually some um, producers will tell you, oh, if that is at 18%, then make the other one 18% as well. So 18% to the left and 18% to the right to balance it out. Usually, in most cases, sometimes it's like that. But then remember, sometimes it's not. So it's all about context. Don't just think that, oh, since you put this 20% um, to the left, you should put this 20% to the right to balance it out. You really just have to go by air or use like a... Um, spectrum analysis, but you don't have to get too crazy. Just go by air. And I can turn this one a little bit down. Even though it looks louder, just kind of keep in mind that, you know, it's not only about DB reading, so, and it's also about your liking. Now I could widen it out. So just understand when you widen out a pan position, 
it's going to be 18% to the left, but also it's going to probably be 5% to 10% to the right as well. So you can hear the guitar to the right and you can hear the guitar to the left and you know they're not clashing a lot. Now let's go into the other instruments. Look at the hi hat is somewhat panned to the right, and I could it shows you like right here because you see one of the um this one is higher than the other one. <laughs> so the best way I would like to do panning is going in, and what I mean by going in, I'm just going to delete all this real quick and just for the sake of this video, let me just copy these panners over. Move the tag. You want to go. You want to go with the flow. So starting off with the intro, then you start panning. Don't just go into. Don't just loop a certain part and then just start playing it. Like nah, don't just do that because then when you play it back all the way through from the intro, you're gonna realize, oh damn, I should have panned it to the left or I should have panned it to the right. And this goes good with picking out sound selection and all other stuff that I'll explain in further videos. But you always want to go into the mix. So I'm going to start off with the hi-hat, and I'm going to pan it extra hard to the left. So you hear it all the way to the left, right? You can hear that. It's not that good, so you want to... The reason why I like to do this because now when you're playing your song back from the intro into the chorus, everything is smooth and then you want to re-level. So now the hi-hats is panned correctly and is leveled correctly and you want to re-level because when you pan certain instruments, now it's having its own spot to shine and it's going to sound a little bit louder so you just want to bring it down and then you know keep going through. Try this perk. So now I got the perk pan to the right to kind of balance out frequency wise or just, you know, preference. So if you look at this. Let's say you want to balance your mix out. Um, you got the hi hats. Highs is going. These are automatically going to be in the high. Disregard this EQ. That was for the first part. But you can tell it's in the, it's in the highs treble. If you want something to counteract with the hi-hat on the left, the perk is not playing too much, so I'm going to still put that to the right, but then I'm going to also need something else to the right so it can balance out that hi-hat and not just only have it to the left. For this part, I'll kind of just come in at the chorus, you know. Let me see about that open hi-hat. See, that open hi-hat could definitely get panned to the right as well so it could balance out that hi-hat and the perk will help balance out the um, hi-hat to the left because remember, the perk only plays once. So it's not really keeping that balance. So you need more things to the right in a high frequency. open hi-hat and then just put it back in context play it from the intro part so 
this rim right here is um pretty much kind of the same frequency as the snare is going to be more of the low and the mids but for this rim is definitely the mids so i just kind of want to pan that to the left <laughs> much everything is pan and you don't have to pan everything keep that in mind especially with your 808s you don't want to pan your 808s because if you put your um if people are playing it back in mono it's going to sound very um out of balance most of your drums is going to be in mono did with the 808 it was also the 808 had a stereo image to it it was a bit wide not too wide but it was a little bit wide and you could see because it wasn't like a straight line you see it right there so i just put that in mono to balance it out now everything has its own space Everything sounds a bit cleaner. Just always kind of keep in mind that it depends on your genre. And if you're doing hip hop, you want to have your drums tight and you want to have it on um, focus. And to achieve that, most of the time you would just put it in mono because when you put stuff in mono, it centers your focus and also it tightens the instrument. But, you know, sometimes you can have, if you want to have one of those big kicks, a trick to, um, make it sound big is you know add reverb or add the stereo image to it but when it comes to like your perks and your snares i only pan usually i would have my snare model like this one but since i have a second one definitely pan you know if you have two claps definitely pan one to the left or the right this is why i said critical listening and analytical listening is an important thing to kind of you know start doing on you know when you have like downtime because then you can understand like oh in this in one of your favorite tracks they pan the hi-hat to the right or they pan it like 10 percent to the right or 10 percent or all the way to the left back in the day like the beatles tracks some of them used to be panned all the way to the left like hard left so when it comes to panning just kind of experiment but also listen to your favorite tracks and you know go from there so if you like this video, like and subscribe, like always, share with your other producer friends that's having trouble with panning. So thank you if you watched all the way to the end. I appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you later.